ladies and gentlemen in attendance, and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Anaheim, California. So Hugo Ruiz wins the rematch over Julio Ceja. First round knockout, and it was kind of reminiscent of when Miguel Cotto fought Sergio Martinez. Ruiz landed a straight overhand right. It put Ceja down immediately, but he fell awkwardly on his right leg, and it looked like maybe he injured his right knee. It could have been the ACL tendon tear or something like that, maybe even the right ankle. But either way, as soon as he got up, it looked like he was fine with his wits, you know, mentally, but he couldn't stand. He was wobbling around. He tried to defend himself, but he just couldn't. Ruiz jumped right on him, teed off. The referee had to stop it. Kind of an anticlimactic finish because a lot of people here were expecting that to be the fight of the night. Maybe these guys will do a rubber match if uh, Seha can heal that knee up. But to the main event, look, Martinez fought hard. He was put down early in the first round. I thought that first knockdown it could have possibly been ruled, you know, a punch in the back of the head. It looked like a, a rabbit punch, so I don't know. Raul Caiz, the ref, didn't have the best night, but the second knockdown that first round was definitely legit. Martinez fought back really hard, though, after getting hurt like that. He showed a lot of heart coming across the Atlantic Ocean here, fighting hostile territory. And remember, his last fight last July, he got knocked out in the two rounds against Scott Quigg. So, he looked better. This was at 126 pounds. He had been dropped or knocked out at 122. I think the extra weight helped him. But Santa Cruz was just too big, too strong, too young, just taller, longer arms. And all night long, he was just bullying Martinez. In the second round, I thought Santa Cruz went down. Uh, Martinez landed a good combination. And Santa Cruz's glove touched the canvas. And I thought that could have been ruled a knockdown. Other than that, though, I thought Santa Cruz completely controlled this fight throughout. He might have given up a round or two, but in the fifth round, he had Martinez against the ropes. He teed off on him, and Raul Quais Jr., or Sr., had no choice but to stop the fight. A nice win for Santa Cruz, who called out Carl Frampton, who earlier today over in the U.K., after his win over Scott Quigg, called out Santa Cruz. Let's see that fight. Frampton said he's willing to come up to featherweight to make it happen. Let's go, Uncle Al, make it happen. That's a great fight for PBC.